Last time we spoke about Power Apps and how you can create very interesting applications using Power Apps. Um, we talked about what tables are and what the, uh, the Microsoft Dataverse is. Um, today, we'll actually want to spend time on actually creating an application. So um, I'll go here to the application. Now, here's one thing I want you to really understand. Um, if you've used Microsoft Dynamics before, you will notice that Power Apps tries to borrow a lot of its capability from Dynamics. So a lot of the rich, rich features that you had um, from Dynamics, you can start creating them um, on here. Now, as I said earlier, you can create different applications. You can create Canvas applications. You're very particular about how your application looks like. Um, or you can create portal applications, especially if you want to give external people within your organization access to your common data service or whatever data you're creating internally. Now, you can create from scratch or use templates. Today, I want to create from scratch. Uh, so let me share my screen. Um, so just as I said, um, once you land on Power Apps, the different applications that you can create, you can create Canvas applications, model driven applications, portals. Um, so today I want to spend time in creating a model driven application. Um, and here we go. So I'll just hit Modern App Designer, hit Create there. Now let's call this the Sales Hub. Let's give it a description. Now, as I create, as it creates this application, it'll create a lot of things in the back end for me. Um, and I'll be able to start using this application. Now, the beauty about Power Apps is we call it a no code or low code environment. And so that means I can build um, fully built applications without writing code. And you'll see how interesting this becomes. So let's create our first page. And what do we want our first page to be? Um, let's start with a table here and I'll, and I'll show you the others. Now, what kind of table do you want here? So of course we want our account details. We want to know who our customers are. And you'll notice they're already pre-created uh, tables and uh, no, I don't want all of them up there so um, let's look for invoices table let's look for quotes table and we'll start with that and that, add that to navigation and boom so by default it already creates um, for me those views and as this loads you notice something quite interesting you get the same um, user experience so if you've ever used microsoft dynamics before you this will start to look very very familiar and we'll just give that a second to load all right so i decided to switch to the classic power apps uh, created and you'll start noticing that this looks very familiar if you use dynamics before it uses the back end engine for dynamics now the first thing we want to do is create a sitemap of what our application should look like so i'll go here and click that um, and there are three concepts I want you to understand. And so there's what's called an area, a group, and a sub-area. So an area is what we name our application. So the, because this is our sales team, so I'll just call it sales. Um, and I'll show you where that shows up. And in this case, I want to create a group. Now this group is for our, I'll call it my work. And you can create different groups for different things. So I'll just come here and create another group and call it customers. You'll see where this starts looking interesting. Let's create another group and call it reporting. Reports. I just want to cluster the different applications now for customers. I'll put my accounts there and maybe I'll add contacts there. But for now, I'll leave quotes and invoice there. So let's view this sub area because we don't need it. Now, the first thing is I want to tie this different areas. Um, I'll just hit save there. Um, and I want to tie this areas to the different databases that we've created. So this is a bit of a sitemap of our application. Now let's start with accounts. So the first thing I want to do is when I check accounts, I'll come here and say, hey, I want to set up, tie this to an entity called accounts. And by default, you notice it picks up accounts and I'm good to go. Now for invoices, I'll come and do the same thing. I'll come and say, hey, I actually want an entity called invoices. And notice by default, it really knows which entity that is. I come here and hit quotes, same thing. This is an entity and it picks up the same quote and I can give it different titles, uh, but let's let's save that for now. Um, the other interesting thing we could do is we could add dashboards. So let's create another group. Let's call this dashboards because we want dashboards. 
And we want to add in here, we'll click add here, and we want to add a sub area. And the sub area is what we're actually putting in there. So in this case, I want to click a dashboard. Um, and I select my dashboard there. So let's say I just want to put an office suite, a Dynamics 365 overview, and we can go create different dashboards later on and um, create that. Now, I'll hit publish right there. And we've created our sitemap. Cool, so on the next one, we'll talk about how we then change these views and how, how we create applications that we can interact with. Thank you. See you on the next one.